I wish I had as much confidence with trying new hair products as I had with experimenting with makeup. With makeup, I'm confident. You know, I've been doing it for a few years now. I may not be perfect, but for the most part, I know what I'm doing. I know nothing about what I'm doing with my hair. I tried this new product today that was supposed to enhance my natural wave and my natural texture, and it did nothing but turn my hair into a rat's nest. And that is why on hair washing day, my hair looks like this. It looks like I have not washed it in about a week, which completely defeats the purpose. Can somebody please point me in the right direction of something that's going to enhance my waves and not be hairspray or something that's going to make my hair feel like a sticky ass mess. Any suggestions would be wildly appreciated. Hi guys, this is Desiree and welcome to Unbound Book Reviews and today I'm going to be reviewing The Hot Shot by Kristen Callahan. If you guys have been on my channel for a while, you've been around, you've seen some of my videos, you will know that I am an avid Kristen Callahan fan. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Let me just tell you, Kristen Callahan's writing and her books are everything to me. I love them. I'm obsessed with her writing. Every time I'm in a book slump, like the one I've been in recently, I go back and I read the hookup. And for some reason, it just helps to get me back into the book world. There's just something about that book that I love reading and it just never gets old for me. And The Hot Shot is book four in the Game On series. The last book was The Game Plan and that came out, I want to say, in... November-ish of 2015. So it's been a while since we've had a Game On book, about two years. And this is one of my favorite series out there. I think it probably is my favorite series out there. It's just addictive. Kristen Callahan's writing is absolutely addictive and I can't get enough of it. And I will explain further why I love her writing so much. And this book, guys, I don't say this lightly. For those of you who've known me for a while, and you know my love of the hookup, like really know it, this was the book that came the closest to the hookup level. You know we all have those books where, yes, we can pick apart different aspects about the book that we really love, but there's something that is just indescribable about how much we love it. You can't describe the intense love that you have. You just, it's there. And you almost don't even want to analyze why you love that book so much because it's just an aspect of it that makes it very special. That's how The Hookup is to me. That's why it's really hard for me to compare any book to The Hookup, even the books in its own series, because The Hookup just has that special thing that I will always love and never know why. So when I say that this is the book that has come the closest to being on the same level as the hookup, you can take that to the damn bank because I mean every word of it. Oh my God, was this book in freaking credible. Kristen Callahan just is like a writing goddess. I think I've said that before, but she's like one of my writing queens. And with that being said, let's get into the blurb. First we were friends, then we were roommates. Now I want more. What can I say about Chess Copper? The woman is capable of bringing me to my knees. I know this about five minutes after getting naked for her. No one is more surprised than me. The prickly photographer my team hired to shoot our annual charity calendar is not my usual type. She's defense to my offense, a challenge at every turn. But when I'm with her, all the regrets and darkness goes away. She makes life fun. Oh God, I gotta sneeze. Ugh, that was like a half sneeze. It gave up on me halfway through the sneeze. I want to know Chess, be close to her, which is a bad idea. Chess is looking for a relationship. I've never given a woman more than one night. But when fate leaves Chess without a home, I step up and offer her mine. We're roommates now, friends without benefits. But it's getting harder to keep our hands off each other. And the longer we live together, the more I realize she's becoming my everything. Trick is, now that I've made her believe I'm a bad bet, how do I convince her to give this player a true shot at forever? Unlike my previous Kristen Callahan reviews, this one is going to be entirely spoiler free. And it's not because I don't want to talk spoilers, it's not because I don't think I'm allowed to be talking spoilers in the spoiler section, it's simply because 
This review is gonna be like 45 minutes long. If I include a non-spoiler section and a spoiler section, I honestly cannot stop rambling about Kristen Callahan. I'm already on 13 minutes right now, and I haven't even gotten started. So our heroine's name is Chester Chess Copper. Yes, her name is actually Chester, but she goes by Chess. She's a photographer, and she has the pleasure of shooting the entire New Orleans football team butt naked for a charity calendar. And this includes our sexy Dexy from the game plan. We also get to see Rolando. We, by the way, all of these books can be read as standalones. You will see some cameos from previous characters pop up every now and then, but they're not playing integral roles in the story, so you don't have to worry about reading one book in order to get another. But Chess is a professional photographer. She has seen clothed bodies, she's seen naked bodies of all shapes and sizes, so the fact that all of these hulking, muscled football players are standing there right in front of her camera does not affect her at all. All except one, and that is Finnegan Manis, the quarterback of the New Orleans football team. She does notice that Finn has an intense animal magnetism to him. She is drawn to him, but the other thing she noticed is that he's kind of an asshole, and they have already bickered back and forth a few times, and they've only known each other for two minutes. And Finn returns Chess's feelings in full measure. He is somehow mysteriously attracted to her, even though she is nowhere near his type and he is nowhere near hers, and he also thinks that she's a bitch. But they are both intensely attracted to one another. They just have this intense magnetism toward one another, and it's completely inexplicable. And Finn finds himself going to seek her out even after the photo shoot is over. Now, as reluctant as Chess and Finn are to even be friends, they can't deny that they get along really well and they do sort of like each other and they really want to know more about each other. They figure what could a friendship hurt. Neither one of them, however, is looking for a relationship together. Finn has only really had hookups in his past. He's never been in a relationship and Chess has never really found the right guy to be with. So she's not interested in a relationship either. Seems simple enough except for the intense, intense sexual attraction between Chess and Finn. Oh my word was this off the charts, this sexual tension just so gripping. I thought it was going to kill me. Kristen Callahan, in my opinion, is the best author when it comes to sexual tension. She is the best at creating chemistry, banter, and sexual tension between the two main characters. That is one of the reasons why I love her writing so much. Her writing is a dick it is addictive. And if you think that the sexual tension is intense when they're just friends, well, just wait until they have to live together because Chess is all of a sudden homeless. At that point, the tension is beyond explosive. I can't describe the level of sexual tension that this book has. And it is, I think, the most intense out of all, well, the friend zone had a lot of sexual tension, but, but this one I think was either the equivalent to the sexual tension in the friend zone or a little bit more. It's been a while since I read the friend zone, so I'm just going on memory here. But in any case, it is intense. Grab a glass of cold water, take a cold shower after you read this or during, put the book down and go cool yourself off because this book is so steamy, delicious goodness. Now, I'm not even talking about the love scenes. I'm talking about just the sexual tension between here. The love scenes are on an entirely different level on their own. And I did mention in another review that sometimes I tend to skip sex scenes if I don't really feel like they're very important to the story. They can become very bland. They can become overused very quickly. I don't know about you guys. When it comes to love scenes, I just get so bored by them when they turn out to be in every single chapter and it's just the same thing and it doesn't connect with the story at all and it's not a significant moment for the two characters. I think when it comes to love scenes in a romance novel, you have to be very strategic, I feel, when you play sex scenes. They do have to play an important role. They have to be of some sort of significance to the characters where they are in that story. So they have to play a part in the development of the characters and the development of their chemistry, not just sex scene moving on to something entirely unrelated. But that's never the case with Kristen's love scenes. There are varying amounts of scenes in each book. Some have more than others. Even in the ones that have more, I have never, ever, ever skipped a scene. She knows how to write love scenes. This woman just knows how to write. 
and the banter is off the charts incredible. The chemistry between these two characters is incredible. Whether it's light banter or it's that growing desire and that tension, or if it's talking about something a little bit deeper, something more intrinsic. They connect on every single level and it's never forced. Each level of compatibility between Chess and Finn is astounding. That's the only way I can put it, is it is astounding. And there are some very tense moments in this book, aside from the sexual tension. There are a lot of angsty moments in this book. There are a lot of moments where my heart just broke for the two characters. There are a lot of moments when I laughed out loud. There are moments when I swoon. There are moments when I had to fan myself down because I was like, holy shit, that is hot. Everything you want in a good romance novel, Kristen Callahan delivers, and this book has it. If you're intimidated by the fact that it's a sports romance and you've never really read sports romances before, you're going to be fine. There are some, you know, metaphors in here that are football related, but other than that, you're fine. Kristen just does a bomb ass job of writing romance novels. I love this woman's writing. Just the way she describes things I think is completely genius. I've never seen any other author describe things in the way that she does, and it's so poignant. I mean, it's very, very specific. The descriptions are just perfect, and you truly feel everything that these characters are feeling, and you're seeing things through their eyes so clearly, especially writing through first-person perspective. It can easily become listy. It can sometimes, I feel, be difficult to really transport a reader into this person's mind. And when you have dual perspective, I feel like that's even more difficult because now you have to make two different perspectives, first person, and you have to make them distinct enough so that they're separate from one another. So making sure that each person is an individual and they have their own unique personality while simultaneously having a consistent writing style. It's not an easy thing. I have tried to write in dual perspective before and it's very, very, very difficult. Again, Kristen Callahan slays. This review has been going on for 40 minutes now. I'm not even joking you, we're at 41 right now. And I could still sit here for at least another hour just describing how much I love Kristen Callahan and how much I love this book. I have read numerous books that have the friends to lovers trope. I feel like the roommate thing is the sort of trope of 2017, if you will. I'm seeing roommate books everywhere. This is the one that stands out to me the most out of all of them and it's just indescribable until you actually read this book. When it comes to her books, it doesn't matter what trope that book is in or how many books in that trope I've read, hers always stand out to me because she is such a talented and poignant writer. I loved every single aspect of this book. I loved everything from the cover down to the very last page. I was so sad when it ended. I'm still so sad that it ended. I don't want to wait another two years for a game on book. But to be totally honest, I would wait for as long as I needed to, just as long as I could take comfort in the fact that the series was going to continue. So if I have to wait two years for another game on book, I will, because Kristen Callahan's books are worth it. The books in this series are so worth it. This is undoubtedly one of my favorite books of this year. I would say top three because it's just that incredible. Please go pick this book up. It is absolutely incredible and I guarantee you if you are starting with this book, I can pretty much guarantee you that you're going to hop back on Amazon and one click each of the books in this series because you are not going to want to stop. It is a purely addictive series. All right, guys, so that is it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you are not already to see some more videos from me. And I will see you guys later. Bye.